What's going on guys and gals? This is Auto Tech. So if you guys are watching this video, you're probably in the exact same situation I was in. You bought your brand new Triumph, you got to riding it, you said, I'm not paying the dealer to do what I can do. And that comes to, like what I'm talking about is oil changes, maintenances. The dealer will try and bully you, tell you, oh, you know, Britt, you gotta bring it back here for your first service. Yeah, no, if you do the job properly, document your stuff, you don't have to. But what I'm getting at is they didn't tell you to reset your oil light, you can't do it on your own. Now, I don't know why these bikes are like this. Um, any vehicle, you know, you can d like reset the oil light just through a series of button pushes and stuff like that. But for some reason, Triumph has tried to make it so that you have to take your bike into the dealership. And what ends up happening is, uh, now I don't know about you guys, but this just drives me up the wall. So like you get your service overdue, you know, you're a couple hundred clicks over, not a huge deal, but then poof, you get this orange light right here, which might as well be the entire screen because I can see it from like across the room and it just drives me up the wall. And then, you know, you, this countdown just starts going up. That irritates me. And, um, so I phoned up my local dealership because I hit that 800 kilometer service like in two days. Like it was like, poof, I need to, to do the oil change. I bought the oil before I picked up the bike because I knew I was going to hit that maintenance real quick. So I phoned my dealership and I was like, hey, I picked up this bike like three days ago. I need that light reset. And they were like, yep, no problem. Uh, no appointment needed, we can come out and reset it in the parking lot. And I was like, great. And they're like, yeah, we charge $59.99. So basically a half hour labor. And I was like, what? Like, what, do you want me to pull the seat off for you too? Like 59 bucks to reset a light. Like that's, that's a robbery. So I got to researching and uh, I found a somewhat cheap alternative to resetting your oil light. There's different options out there. There's one called a dealer tool, and then there's another one called Tune ECU. Tune ECU is a lot cheaper. By the time you're all said and done, it's gonna be about 20 bucks, which your very first reset is going to um, pay for itself, right? So the only things required for this are you have to download the app on a Samsung phone, unfortunately. It has to be Samsung for some reason. Maybe the Apple support will be coming. And then you have to get just a generic OBD2 Bluetooth connector, which you can get off of Amazon, which, uh, you know, whatever. Now, the catch between this is for some reason with the program, it's uh, like a little bit finicky. Like, well, I mean, I guess it's like these cheap electronics is more of the issue. So if, if you go to the app's requirements, they mention something about uh, like a version 1.4 and then you'll get on like Amazon and then there'll be these companies advertising like version 2.8 and stuff like that. And I, apparently those are like fraudulent ones. And the very first one I ordered for some reason, it just didn't connect with my phone. And I was like, well, great. So I wasted four bucks and then I got really mad. So I ordered like three different kinds of these <laughs> and I was like, God damn it. So I'm, a, I'm into this for close to $30. So it's just luck of the draw, whatever. This one ended up working. So not a big deal. Now, how does this work and what do we do? You have to remove your seat, which, you know, you just put your key in the back here, turn it, lift your seat. If you have a heated seat, make sure to unplug the connector before you take the seat off. And then lift up your connector, which is just right here. Plug this in. You'll see that the lights come on. Get your phone going and where is it? You got to go Bluetooth. And it should show up when it says scanning for Bluetooth devices. And there it is. Sorry, this, uh, I, 
Oh, here we go. Now, for some reason, these ask for a pin. I've noticed with these generic things, it's either like one, two, three, four, or like one, 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 one. So you hit OK. And ta-da, it is now paired. Now that it is paired, what you're going to want to do is turn your key on. Make sure it is set to run. You're going to open Tune ECU. Hit the top right where it says ECU. Hit connect. And you're going to see it's going to start flashing. Connected to OBD2. And then you get a green light. This thing is going nuts. You're good to go. So now that you're actually starting to read your voltage, you know it's actually connected to it. So your next step is going to hit ECU. Tests and adjustments. Scroll down. Hit that adjustments button. Reset service interval. Click run. Unfortunately, you only have the option for 10,000 kilometers, 6,000 miles, or 16,000 kilometers, 10,000 miles. The intervals on the Triumph are 10,000, even though I do them every five, so you can basically get two out of one or just reset it every oil change anyways. You're gonna hit OK. And for some reason it pops up. I emailed him about this. It says reset service interval. An error has occurred during the process. However, if we come back here, it is actually reset. So I emailed him about, about that. I said, hey man, it works. But for some reason it says error. Uh, he never responded to me. So whatever, it works. <laughs> and now you shut your key off. No more service minder due warning. Turn it back on just to confirm. And ta-da, it is not there anymore. So this is your absolute cheapest option in order to reset the service light on your Triumph. If you're lucky and you get the first one of this and it works no problem, great, I'm happy for you. <laughs> if you're like me and uh, the first one doesn't work out and then you buy a couple more, you're still saving money after the first time. So, you know, use, use your judgment there. Um, I guess one other thing to mention is this Elm 327 seems to just kind of be a thing uh, when it comes to these Bluetooth OBD2 connectors. I don't really know what it means. You know, I'm not a uh, super tech savvy kind of person, but works, it's reset and you've saved yourself a ton of money. So I'm going to cut this one off about here. It's been a long video, longer than it needed to be, but uh, you know, now you can reset the service light on your Triumph without having to pay your dealership a half hour. And I went online and that kind of seems to be the going thing is that shops are charging like 45 bucks and stuff like that or more to reset service lights. So if you like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for taking the time and watching.